what's going on everybody uh, I'm actually been working on Andromeda Galaxy for another go uh, first time I did it that was my first time with uh, the refractor now I'm actually trying uh, multiple nights on Andromeda since uh, we got some clear nights uh, Monday night I did start off with luminance I did uh, one minute exposures and I did 70 pictures so that's pretty much 70 minutes give or take 10, 15 more minutes when you add in dithering and stuff like that. And on that same night, I also did uh, 65 frames at three minutes long. So that's roughly, uh, if you do the math on that, it's about maybe three hours, a little over three hours, like three and a half hours worth of data. So that was three hours plus about 70. And then tonight, I continued with. Uh, I did 65, what's still going on right now, 65 green images at 3 minutes long. And then I still have 65 blue images right here at a 3 minutes long. So, so far I've been going on for 3 hours and 10 minutes pretty much. I just did a successful Meridian flip, which I was happy about. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I still have 3 hours and 43 minutes remaining to complete all the images. So that's total, uh, if you add up everything, that's about six, and a little bit over six hours and 40 minutes tonight. And then Monday I did a little bit over 70 minutes. So that's like a plus three hours on top of that. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, close to 11 hours worth of data on Andromeda Galaxy. So hopefully this actually comes out pretty good. Let me show you one image right here. This stretched on green at three minute exposures and you see the whole galaxy right here pretty much and I don't have a focal reducer if I had a focal reducer I might get a little bit more out of this galaxy you see the smaller galaxy right here the small one and the other galaxy just right it looks like a ball of just a big huge star it's actually a miniature miniature galaxy but yeah this is a huge galaxy so I'm trying it again and last time I did it I, I wasn't completely centered but when I set up everything with the Framing Mosaic Wizard this time, I made sure it's pretty much centered as possible. And let me go over here. Guiding is not the best. There's a little bit of haze out tonight. But you can see right here, let me clear it out. See, low star, low star guy cam is rock solid. I'm glad I actually picked that thing up back this past summer. I mean, it picks some of the dimmest stars and locks onto it. Even when clouds roll around, it still pretty much tries to stay locked on it. Uh, it's point, you know, it's point sixty now. It's point is going up a little bit. Now I'm still, I just did a meridian flip, so I'm still pretty much pointed straight up at the sky right now, and it's doing pretty good. It was, I did have some higher numbers earlier on, which RA was like one point oh eight, one point oh seven, then it jumped down a little bit, but that's pretty much low right now. It's probably gonna go up, yeah, at one point oh one. My deck has been still at point. It's all that's always low. My declination has always been pretty good. My RA is. Right ascension is what's highest on my mount with that AVX. But I, these numbers are still good with me. Um, one point something, you know, if it's right around this range right here for my total RMS errors. Actually, you can see it over here too. I still have round stars, so I can't complain. I mean, it seems like I'm doing all I can to get the numbers lower. It's not actually going as low as I would like them to, but everything's still gotten pretty good. Good round stars and everything. So I'm working with the equipment I got, and we're just going to go from there and see what happens. Still a good signal to noise ratio of the star right here. That's one reason why I chose this option to see the star right here, because then if this dips down, you know you got some something coming in. And plus you can see your clouds on the screen. But if you just look at this, you can see something's going on. This line starts to dip down, like something's blocking your signal. So that's why I always view my star data right here. Well, star information on this graph from the Lobe Star guide camera. So I'm getting ready to go to bed because um this will be finished. Uh, three hours and 40 minutes from now, it's about 11.50, so it's pretty much around 4 a.m. And tonight is so far our coldest night of the season since last April. So tonight's going down to like 38 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, it's okay. I mean, it's fall, so it's going to get cold. But, and also my laptop that's outside, it's inside of an enclosed Rubbermaid case. And what I did was underneath the laptop, I put a small heating pad. Like one of those small ones that you can put on your back or something. It's like 15 inches wide by maybe 12 inches. 
and I did some tests on this thing uh, put it on the lowest heat setting and it just keeps the bottom of the laptop just barely barely warm it's so faint but it's enough heat where it keeps the internal hard drive and that motherboard a little bit warmer than without you know a little bit warmer because it's getting so cold and everything what I did was uh, I put uh, it's like four clothespins on top of the heating pad and then I put the laptop on top of that so you have some ventilation under the laptop and it's not direct contact with the surface of the laptop because that cooling fan on the laptop shouldn't be smothered you know with the, um, the material from the heating pad because it's like a little blanket material and it's only like 78 or so degrees when I measured with my infrared thermometer so it's not dangerous heat close to the lithium ion battery or anything like that I just want to keep the laptop a tad bit warmer if, when it's inside that Rubbermaid case because that hard drive and components you know when it gets freezing cold things start moving slower and everything so so far on Monday night when I did all my uh, images it was pretty good but tonight it's going down real cold so it should keep the laptop pretty good so just another little tip I'm trying to do just to keep everything warmer out there since it's getting cold and winter time's coming up and I still want to continue this actual photography throughout the winter let me just look one more time at the guy there. yeah See what I mean? 1.18, 1.02. 1 hey, that's the AVX mount. One day it might get a better mount, but I'm still happy with it. Still working pretty good. So that's it for now. Hopefully I get a good image of Andromeda when all this data finishes.